nice Zippo style lighter. May or may not actually be Zippo. And rock, rock. Oh, that's weird. A cleaning brush, hairpin, nail. Apparently when I changed the battery in my camera, I bumped the microphone button. Uh, but, here we are. I noticed there was a water taxi parked in the middle of the canal. A guy got out of it and he was throwing a hook in the water. He told me that previous night he drove through this area of the canal and hit something that broke the propeller on the water taxi. And so I'm offered to focus on this area with him since this is where he said he had the accident. While fishing, of course, people stop and talk because they have may or may not have seen this before and they're amazed at some of the things you can find. They saw the knife. And I pulled up a little uh, earbud case. It's not the same kind of earbuds as the ones that we found earlier, but found a set of earbuds and a case. And they're laughing. The guy with the water taxi and the hook did manage to successfully pull out this chair that he set by this tree. Pretty good sized chair and he referred to it as a prop killer. So he's pretty confident that's what it was that he hit. He had told me he thought it was by the other bridge, but since it was the other end, I've decided to go back and start covering an area that I skipped over to help him a little bit, and found another skateboard. I found so many skateboards this day. It's just pretty plain black. And then I pulled my magnet over to the side and he's continuing his journey back up the river. He's telling me he really appreciates anything I can pull out because those props, having to replace them is annoying to the hem at least. It's also an added expense that the city really doesn't need. And usually it's just because people have thrown things that don't belong in the canal in there. Later I heard him telling one of the tours that he really appreciated everything that magnet fishers can do for him. In the last video you may have seen the knife that I pulled up, the Karambit, which is, I've, I've later learned, it's a pretty interesting knife. It may not have been used in a murder, but... Just a little bit further down the canal, I found this. Of course, with all the restaurants in the area, it's probably just a kitchen knife from one of the restaurants. Why is it in the canal? Why is any of this stuff in the canal? It's not anymore. Here, I've moved more directly under the bridge by where he found the chair. This is the Kratos 360 magnet. Found some hair trimmers. And just a few throws later, I found something that goes along with those trimmers. Apparently they were uh, adjustable with different ends. One was for ear and nose hair trimming. me a minute to figure out that's what that was and some more just flakes and finally moved on further down the canal and it's not uncommon to find jewelry here and today was no different 
and an interesting bracelet. And here we are, still at the same location as the bracelet. Some extra weight. And what? It appears to be like a bicycle chain. No sign of the rest of a bike. This through, I felt like I was pulling something along. And I saw something interesting fall off the magnet as I get the top of the water. So let's clean it off and drop right back down. Hopefully whatever it was didn't drift away too far. Oh, there it is. Get out of the water. That's right, somebody lost a drone in the canal. I think that's the first drone I've ever found. Back-to-back -back finds are always pretty exciting. This was immediately after the drone. Found something else. Pretty good size, too. Appears to be a stool from one of the restaurants, maybe. When the water taxi guy came by later, he said that was another prop killer, and he appreciated us getting that out of the canal. I also noticed it looked like we'd picked up something else there. A pair of wire strippers. Looked like they still work. And a button. Oh. And a end of a pipe or a piece of rebar, maybe. And this spot, I, I thought I'd felt something with the magnet, but it just wasn't coming up. So I got off the hook. And I worked on this one spot for an hour trying to figure out what this was so that these, uh, the water boats, water taxis would not run into it and I just did not get it to move so I don't, I don't know I tried dropping the claw on this side throwing the rope across running over to the other side and dragging it that way uh, whatever it was it may have just been a piece of rebar through the concrete that I was feeling but it just it was not moving and it was not coming up and I tried everything at this location I even borrowed a pair of grabbers from the little uh, maintenance guy that goes around and picks up the trash and it was just too deep. I couldn't reach all the way down there with those sticking my arm in the canal. So we may go back someday with a hoe or something and see if we can feel something down there. But for this particular day, we just weren't able to get whatever is down there up. That's it for Red Dirt Magnet Fishing today here in Bricktown, Oklahoma. If you want to support us and you're already subscribed, we are selling merch at our Ko-Fi store linked in the description down below. I've got magnetized uh, bottle openers that you can stick to your fridge with our logo. I've also got some stickers up there and more to come. As always, like, subscribe, click on the bell icon to get notifications for new videos when they come out. And we'll see you later, friends.